All right, guys, I got a question for you. Is it hot by you or is it just me? You guys know I'm in Florida here. And I'll tell you what, this week has been a scorcher. It's been hard for me to do my job, nevertheless do videos. So I haven't put any videos up, but I'm shooting this pearl one here. And I was thinking of how you guys know when you do these whites and you sand them, it's hard to leave. Sometimes it gives you smudges when you touch them if your hands are dirty. And in this weather here, I don't care how many times you wash your hands and get clean, but all this sweat coming off, you end up smudging these. So I've been using these flexible sanding discs from Norton with a little bit of the waterborne cleaner and it definitely gets it out of the scratches. And you guys know as well as I do, if you don't get them blend panels clean, once you put that pearl on there, you'll end up seeing it and you'll have a spot where you didn't clean it good. So I've been wet sanding them because no matter what, when you try to clean this now without having it sanded, you can't get that off of there. You'll have to wet sand it. So I've been using these little pads and they've been working really good because you can wet sand with them and it gets it right out of there because you can't wipe it out of the sand scratch, that dirt. It's gotta be sanded. And I used to use a scuff pad, but you guys know the scuff pads have hairs on them. And then you gotta fight the uh, hairs from that. So let me wipe this off. I ran out of towels, I'll be right back. All right guys, let me change this box out. But I wanted to show you this cool holder that I got from the Kerrigan Corp. And what I like about it is it'll fit any size box. So no matter what kind of box or what kind of wipes you guys are using, this is magnetic and it can go to big boxes or little boxes. So you don't have to use a certain brand. You just put the wipes in and it punctures the box here. And then you just slide this one on and puncture this side and it holds it. And then you can just pull them down. But I like it because you don't have to use a certain product to actually keep with that line of uh, stuff. So you can use anything you want with that holder. So to me, that's pretty cool. But you guys see here what I mean. And you guys know as well as I do, you gotta sand it out of the actual scratches to get it to come out. So I've been using these and they work well and those are the Superflex Nortons. And uh, definitely had a couple in the years past bite me. And I'm sure any of you guys in the business have. So definitely wanna check over your pearls. And in this weather with all this sweating going on, it's more chance of that because your hands are even sweating. So those little super fine uh, wipes work really well. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot this 83 Pearl job. We got a new bumper, blend the trunk, and they had a repair here all in this area around the taillight pocket. It's messy, I ended up using a dark primer because I had that in the gun. But we're gonna go ahead and seal this, shoot the whole rear body. We're not gonna stop it and do a little blend. We do the whole thing, you guys know that. So let's shoot this job and uh, hopefully get through this Friday because it's hot and I'm ready to have some time off. You guys see I got my towel because this time of year for us painters in these booths very very hot and the sweat is just running down from everywhere behind your back and everything so keep a towel with you and uh, try to stay hydrated but it's definitely hot in these booths <coughs> I think this booth right now is running at about 103 degrees with no heat on and it's just a scorcher in here so we got it sealed we got our white sealer on it. And you guys can see, it looks fine now that it's all sealed. So at the end of the night, when I mix up primer, I mix up one big batch and I hit all the cars. So I don't have time to go around mixing colors because I seal everything anyhow. So it's not really that crucial. And I like using the darker sealers because it lets you see what you're doing more with that shiny primer that we use from the Sherwin. So. We got our sealer on it. Let's go ahead and uh, get our base on it, pearl it and clear this thing and uh, get out of this heat and get into the AC.
All right, we went ahead and put on the three coats of the white, blended out our blend. We're using the uh, 3M gun with the 1-4 head on it. And we went and let one of the first coats set up before we put our double back-to-back -back white on it and then blended it out. So we're gonna get into the pearl now, get it pearled out and then clear it. So let's get this uh, pearl on it and let's get this thing finished up. We got our two coats of the pearl on it. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, clear this thing. But before we clear it, I'm gonna get me a drink. That way I'm hydrated and I can come back in here and clear this one. So I like to stay hydrated in this weather because I had a buddy of mine actually crash on the way home one time, a heat exhaustion, another painter. So stay hydrated, drink your water, whatever else you guys like. But let's get this thing cleared. That's one coat of clear, and I'm using the CC200 with the UH90 hardener. And I went up one reducer on this to a uh, slower temp in this weather. Now's the time when I'll change my reducer. The whole rest of the year I use the US4, and that's a slow reducer too. But this one's one step up, and I like it when it's real hot like this, the US5. So that's the first coat. We're going to go ahead and put one more on, and I'll show it to you finished up. And we're using the Techna clear coat gun. And I'm spraying this one here at the normal 24 PSI for the clear. It breaks it up nice. And it, even with this reducer here, it uh, does a good job. So you know this gun here is kind of a hoser compared to my DV1 that I'm used to using. So we gotta be a little bit more careful with that reducer, but it's hotter out. So it's not really that big of a deal. So let's finish it up and then I'll show it to you done. So I'm glad it's over. This is the last one of the day and it definitely came out nice and clean, blended out good. And yes, we did verify this color match. So I didn't show that part of it, but we did check it. Just wanted to let you guys know, but make sure you stay tuned this weekend. We're gonna be finishing up the paint job on the golf cart and shooting that one. We're gonna be using a solvent base on that this time instead of the water. So we'll try that out, see if it looks any different. So stay tuned, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.